Mark, I've explained that you uh, work for 104.3 The Fan in Denver, that you're calling the game for Fox. I, I want to call you Stink, but I want to make sure that that's okay with people who don't know you and that you still go by that name. Is this all kosher? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you don't get to pick your own nickname, right? So uh, <laughs> that's it. And uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm like, that's all I hear. I walk through airports around this country and I hear Stink all the time and that's what I answer to. So yeah, it's all good by me. So... We might as well get this out of the way early then, too. Was this a real headline or a false headline that you got the nickname from peeing your pants during games? Well, that's true. I didn't get the nickname from that, but it perpetuated the nickname because I, I, that is 100% true that, uh, that that was pretty much a, a weekly occurrence. It wasn't a full, you know, I didn't completely empty my bladder every yeah, game. Yeah, just a dribble. Yeah, occasionally I did, but, you know, if I got a little uncomfortable. But, yeah, that's... That, <laughs> <laughs> that certainly that certainly happened uh, almost on a weekend to weekend basis. Well, Chris Hoke, I'm asking this question for him. I don't know if you ever played against him or not. He won a Super Bowl or two here. He wanted to know before we get started where the stink nickname came from, and then I promise I'll give up that topic. Yeah, no, no, no. He actually came from uh, rotten fish heads in Alaska. My sister taught at a village in Alaska uh, on, uh, it's called Akiachuk, Alaska, on the Kuskokwim River. And the first run of salmon, they would cut off the heads of the salmon. They dig a bit pit, and they would put them in there, and then they would bury them. You can look it up. They're called stinkheads. And then they would dig those stinkheads up, and they would uh, and they would eat them essentially raw, and um, and you know rotten, fermented. And so they called those stinkheads. And I was telling that story as a rookie because I had just talked to my sister. And um, bottom line is, that I from that point I told the story, and then I became stinkhead. And then uh, then you know then I. I pissed my pants in one preseason game really bad <laughs> this is actually this is actually a funny story so I, since you guys are asking i'll tell it so i have i've got to go i'm a rookie i uh, know i'm a second year player with the washington with washington at the time um um you know i started as a rookie and so i'm the youngest guy on the hogs right i'm the youngest player so uh we get out and this is back in the preseason when you actually you know played in the preseason the, the player the boy you actually worked on your craft uh, so that you could be a good football player. Um, you know, so we, it was a third preseason game. We're playing in Washington, D.C. against the Cleveland Browns. And, um, you know, it's late that we play through the first three quarters as starters. So I'm the first guy up. If anybody, right guard, left guard, or center gets hurt, I got to go in. I got to play all three positions. And so I'm on the sidelines, fourth quarter, and I have got, like, I've been drinking a lot of water. I'm hydrated. I have got to, I mean, I got to go bad. And this is where it all started. And I was like, God, I got to pee. Man, I got to. And I, we're sitting on the bench, and I'm sitting on there with Riley McKenzie and Jeff Bosick and, you know, Russ Graham and, and Ed Simmons and Jimmy Lachey and, uh, you know, just the hogs in general. I'm like, that's it. I'm going to piss. And they go, just go to the locker room. I go, I can't. I'm the first guy up. If somebody gets hurt, I got to go in. And I'm just going to go. And they're like, don't go. And all of a sudden, I mean, it's <laughs> literally leaving my pants onto the steel bench, draining off the bench, and everybody gets up like, you sick. You're like, you're gross, right? And I am laughing because I think it's hilarious. And I get done full empty bladder, you know, full just empty in my bladder, like to the point where at the at, I'm shaking it off, you know, I'm like shaking a little bit as I'm done, I'm finishing, and literally I get done with the last shake, and they're like stink, and they're like somebody went, somebody got hurt, right, and so I got to run up to the sideline and Stan Humphrey, I mean I just fully emptied my bladder, and Stan Humphrey's the backup quarterback, goes hey man let's get a quick warm up snap, and I'm like all right. So get over the ball, and the quarterback never goes directly in right off the bat. He puts a hand on your lower back, and it's like foreplay. One on your lower back and one on your butt cheek, right? Just to let you know he's back there. And he goes into his cage, blue 80, blue 80, set. And just about that time, he goes, set. And he puts his hands in right before you snap the ball. So I snap the ball, and it's just splash, right? It's like all over. And he's like, oh, my God, get a towel. You know, he's super sweaty. And I'm like, hey, that ain't sweat. That's piss, my friend. And um, so that's how the name just stuck. And it's been that way ever since. Oh, my God. Is that a great story? Ron, I didn't expect it to go there. I did not expect it to go there either. I'll tell you, Stink. We appreciate the background on that. 